Hi, in this tutorial we will continue with the second part of the intro to 2D shapes. If you didn't watch the first part, please watch it again uh, first, then uh, watch this video. Uh, here we will learn about four types of vertices. Now I will go to shape, click line. Uh, in the last video I told you if you watched it, uh, don't click and drag now. We will start by clicking and releasing to place the first vertex. Now click and release the second one. Now the third one, click and drag a little bit and release. Now you can see now we have a smooth transition. Now click and drag more. Now you will have uh, a smooth uh, transition, but, but the curvature is wider. Now click the uh, and release right click to end the command and uh, right click again to turn off the line button go to vertex and let's examine the type of uh, vertices we created here for example if I select this one and right click you can see that I have a corner also here it's a corner the third one wh uh, where we dragged you can see now we have these this uh, tangency handle if you right click this is a busier also here it's a busier with a bigger handle <coughs> now for the corner uh, the, uh, the way it works uh, if you want to explain uh, what is a corner vertex you can imagine that this uh, point here is like a uh, magnetic field uh, the weight at this point is 100% so the line touches the point outside this point the weight is zero so the line goes straight here you can imagine that this uh, magnetic field or has a weight of 100% also here but this weight fades gradually when it leaves the point and the strength let's say the fall off is controlled by this tangent handle so if I click move I can make this uh, curve wider also I can play with the orientation now when you make it wider you can imagine that this uh, weight is fading but uh, less faster than when this uh, tangency handle is smaller here the weight uh, drops um, rapidly to be zero also here same thing now I can convert one type of vertices to another I can right click and choose corner I can make it busier again. We have another type which is busier corner. Here I can control each side of the handles separately. I have more flexibility to control the shape. Also I have this smooth option. The smooth option doesn't let you control the shape of the curvature or its orientation. Actually, uh, this uh, smooth type uh, needs three points at least to uh, make the effect visible. That, uh, that means if you have a line with two points, you will not see the difference if you convert it to smooth. And uh, so you need a uh, three points at least, and this smooth transition is controlled by under an under the hood uh, algorithm, and its uh, its uh, shape is uh, determined uh, by the positioning of these three vertices relative to each other. Now that we learned about these four types of vertices we will learn one last thing which is how to copy the uh, tangent uh, handle 
from one vertex to another here I have this Bezier uh, corner and here I have another Bezier corner let's say I want this tangent handle to be parallel to this tangent handle here so I can select this vertex go to tangent group and click copy then click the handle you can see that uh, the mouse turns into copy mode so click the handle now select this one click paste and click the handle now you can see if I use move and move this one here if I select both of them you can see that they have the same tangent orientation the two tangents are parallel but you noticed that the size of the handle uh, didn't change and the reason is that we didn't uh, check this option here so I will do it again I will just play around with this handle I will click copy I will click this option here paste length now I will copy this handle here then I will click paste now as you can see I pasted two things now the size of the handle and the orientation so now both are parallel and they have the same length I can do the same with the uh, Bezier corner I will turn this into Bezier corner I will do the same with this one here for example I will play around with the both handles so now I will click I will leave this option on I will click copy I will copy this handle paste I will click here so now this one is parallel to this one and it has the same length I will click copy again click on this handle click paste and click on this one and now this one is parallel to this one and with the same length so and uh, yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoy it and uh, if you like it please press the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you next time thank you